Hello everyone, Tammy here. So I am on the Facebook game application called Klondike. And this is a good game to play, actually. Uh, I find myself being kind of addicted to it. So basically you go through, you grow things, you raise farm animals, you build buildings, hire friends to work in it, um, make things so you can get to other parts of the uh, land here. I believe this area up here you have to buy with coins. Pull this out more. All this. Um, but you can work this till it's completely cleaned out and then you can start doing this over here. Um, but hey, you know, it's like I said, it's really fun. You have quests on the side here. You have uh, gifts you can give out to friends. You can also um, go in and send stuff from your storage and whatnot to your friends so you can help them out and what they need. So let's kind of go over the game here. All right, so at the top here, we have your name, your experience, and your level which is in the star. Then you have your energy bar, which tells you how much energy you have. And uh, when you use some of your energy, you can, you know, hover over it and I'll let you know how much you have until the next time you get one energy. Uh, you can also add energy, which you can, you know, use your gems to buy or you can, um, you know, I'm sure enough you can buy the gems using money which uh, add to your account and then you have click emeralds which you can buy them and I'll tell you you know you can buy coins you can buy emeralds they tell you blah 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 you know everything you can use it's a secure payment uh, same thing with your coin up there you can do that too so the little gems you get from doing some of the quests or I believe also leveling uh, random amounts basically coins you get from selling items, selling gold, um, and everything. So you have your box here where you can gift. So you can gift one thing. And when you do gift people, you can click on whatever one you want to send them. But you can also down here where it says show who needs it, you can click on it and you can go through and you can see who all needs it. It'll have a bunch of boxes up here and then you can click gift to everyone. So whichever one you have picked and everyone that shows up here, you can gift to all those people that need it and then you can move over to stones and there'll be a whole new set of people that need stone and you just click gift to everyone and that works too. So right through here are all your quests and it'll show you what you need uh, to get each one. So you can click on each one and it'll tell you what you need to do. And from there on out, you know, just figure it all out. All right, so now to move down to the bottom of the interface. So we have our gift area where you have special gift and free gifts. Uh, special basically is uh, people just sending, you know, different gifts to you and then the free ones are like your gift box what people give out to you free your collections are where you find things throughout playing the game and it'll tell you it's been completed and you just hit one and you can get your experience up here will be filled because it tells you right at the top uh, Inuit set stone set I mean there's a bunch of sets that you have in here and it'll tell you can be found in golden statues of animals and in stones on expedition locations or down here it says can be found in the golden uh, statues of animals and obtained while mining pyrite so each one will explain where you can get them from so you can work on that certain type so what you can do is you just you know you just keep accepting it um, you also have the chance to go to the max and accept it. So it makes it just, you know, easier to do. So that's what your collection is. And each reward is different. I mean, you know, some of them give you nails and bricks. And uh, there's like the lucky set. You have this golden mindset. It's used to uh, 
do additional stuff on your friend's land, which I'll get to in a few minutes. But yeah, each one, you can take time to look through to see which one, you know, gives you what. And you can look, you know, work on that situation or that certain one <laughs> to get those items. So what I'm doing right now is I have my worker collecting. You'll get these little boxes right here. Take coal to storage. Fir tree logs take to storage. And I'll take them to storage. All right, now back down here, uh, we're going to look at adventures. And I'll tell you, you know, what to complete and what's been completed and whatnot. Um, ones you haven't started yet, stuff that's locked. Um, complete, you know, and it just goes back to your quest. So your adventures and your quest log are about the same. It's just a record of what you've done. Okay, so your map... Your map is to take you to certain locations that are unlocked. Sometimes some things do come unlocked, and they'll have them down around where you're at, which is your station. But other ones you can take in, uh, you can travel to them. So say you're going to go to the next one that's open right now. Well, it tells you how many days it takes, which is five, and then to feed your dogs, uh, which is 20. And... These are like the items you need to go to it. Further away, it says this team can run without a break for 100 kilometers, five days only. So you'll have to basically upgrade your team. So let's close out of that. Now that we're back to here, let's see your achievements. And I'll tell you your own achievements between you, leagues, expedition, you know, what's been going on and everything. Um, so, and then right here you have these little bags, and one of them is fertilizer. Well, they're all fertilizer, like, you have one that plants fertilizer, which is 100% acceleration, so if you plant something, and you have, like, a lot of fertilizer, and you need stuff, like, instantly, you can hit it, and you can insta-grow it. And then you have plant fertilizer, which is 50%, which will only half it. And then you have fruit tree fertilizer. So if you have fruit trees planted, you can, you know, get them to grow 100% uh, acceleration. So now, uh, this is your friends list, which you can go through and check for people that you have on your friends list that plays the game. If you notice up here, you'll see the metal, the golden spades. These show you who plays. And if you see people that don't have them, they haven't been to their farms in a long time. So you, when you do click on them, you can go to the farm, but you can't do nothing on their farm. You would have to get them to come back to game in order to basically do anything on their farm. So you have neighbors here. Now, on here, uh, like I just did, I accepted someone because they'll send you, you know, friend requests or whatnot to become neighbors. So, here's a list of all your neighbors. Um, you have an option down here to click to don't offer me as neighbor so people won't add you. Then there's requests, which you also can click on this one too, don't offer me as a neighbor. So, in searches, you do the same thing. Don't offer me as a neighbor, so that way that they don't add you. But you can go through and you can click add. Okay, and it says the request has been set. Uh, once the player accepts it, sorry, you will become neighbors. Okay, that's great. So, it goes back to this, where you have all these that I've kind of sent out, you know, to people. And I don't know if there's a limit on them or not. But it is what it is. I mean, you don't have to be friends with them on your Facebook. They're just added as a neighbor. So, you know, that's, I guess, the benefit. It's good. So now that we've covered that, over here you have a book where you can make notes. So when you're on uh, a certain land location, you can write down, I need this material from the station to take back to this place. Um, then you have where it has a note thing, the news, you can follow a fan page 
for more news. So you can click on this and it'll take you to the fan page, which you can go through and um, I recommend you doing this because of the fact that you can get um, some nice rewards uh, for free and uh, following the news, you know, reading the news and everything else that's been going on, uh, which is really good to keep up with this. And I also recommend if you do take from the fan page, you make sure that you like, love, laugh, do, an, do some type of emotion con to it so you know that you've already claimed that uh, reward and gift for that post. And then, of course, you have a um, helper, which, you know, you can ask for assistance and everything else. And then you've got your little ad here. Um, then you have this bar up here that you can pull out. So you can animate things uh, differently. You can take a picture, have the sound on, uh, other sound effects. You can pull back out, you can zoom right in, and then you can do it a different wise, you know, have everything kind of put away, and then you can just have everything go, you know, back to normal. So that basically is just how the screen works itself. Now, uh, let's see, so when it comes to buildings, that's a different story and everything and farming and whatnot. Um, so I think since we have gotten down the whole screen view of what to do on the game, I think I'm going to end this video and then I'm going to start a new video about the working processes and everything else. So thank you for watching and hope that I might see you in games sometime. Add me as a neighbor, whatnot. Um, like I said, uh, in the neighbors, you can go to the search and 63724496 is the ID that you can put in to request me to be a neighbor. Since I play this every day and I try to gift out as much as I can, um, I do normal gifting and then if there's requests that you need for items or whatnot, I will try my best to make them and send them out. Or if I already have them, I'll send them out to you. Other than that, uh, give me a thumbs below to let me know if you enjoyed watching this video. I know it's a long video, but trying to discuss everything that works on the screen itself for any game application is, you know, right out there. Um, oh, also before I go, I totally missed these two. So um, if you look up here, you have a house and you have a person. So it tells you total workers are three. And there's one worker that's active, and then I have um, housing units for four people, which one of them is active in. So, all right, well, I will see you in the next video. Moving on about buildings and working and everything else. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.